What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Um, but anyways, in today's video, I'm going to show you a super cool effect or slash transition, I suppose. And this is going to be a zoom mask transition where it zooms in and it zooms out again, which is kind of weird. It's a tri it's kind of a trippy transition and I kind of figured it out i'll link the music videos down below as well as the inspiration clip where i kind of um found this effect from so i'm going to push play as you guys already seen in the beginning of the video it zooms in and then it kind of zooms out onto the next clip which is super cool it's very unique and um this is just a little twist to just a, a standard you know a zoom mask transition whereas this one kind of has it kind of zoom out as well onto the next clip and i'm going to show you how to do that it's very very simple to do no plugins are required which is the best part about this plugin so without further ado let's jump right into the video so i went ahead and made a um, color like adjustment to the actual video clip in the timeline so you guys can know what is what in the timeline just because it can get a little bit confusing sometimes so the green here is going to be the original source video and so what we're going to do is we're going to go at the top we're going to go to edit we're going to go into add freeze frame and this will add a freeze frame it's just a still image of wherever we left this playhead at so we moved it here so i'm now going to trim this to roughly a couple of seconds we want it to be the freeze frame we want it to be um, relatively long so it makes it look a lot smoother if your uh, freeze frame is literally this short it's not going to look very good it's going to look very choppy and just not smooth at all so i suggest you guys make the video or the uh, actual freeze frame a little bit longer so now that i've done this i'm going to color code this single clip here which is the freeze frame i'm going to uh, add a color so I'm just gonna go to assign video roles and just do one here to red so you guys know that this is the freeze frame that we're working with so once you're at this point what you want to do is we want to add the freeze frame now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the freeze frame selected which is in red we're gonna go into the effects we're gonna go down to masks and draw mask so drag the draw mask on top of your clip here and now that you're there I'm going to make a selection of his eye so I'm gonna zoom in to about 200% Zoom in as much as you can, depending, you know, wherever you, um, how precise you want the selection to be. So I'm going to select his eye here, and I'm going to click and drag to make a curve. I'm going to click and drag again, and um, actually I'm going to click and drag to about here, and then I'm going to click and drag again, or maybe like that, and then here, and then I'm going to click to finish that off. Now I'm going to go back to the original size. I'm going to go into the draw mask and change the mask to invert mask. Make sure that is checked. And if I zoom back in again to around 200% and I increase the feather, this will increase it outwards. Whereas if I drag it to the left, this will feather it inwards. I want to drag it out to roughly 13, just so it creates a nice smooth feather around the mask or the selection that we've done, just so it makes it look more realistic, I suppose. So I'm going to go back to the original size here, and I'm going to move the playhead at the beginning of this freeze frame clip here. Make sure it's selected in yellow, okay, as you can see. Now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. So go to the transform here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the position. So I'm going to add a keyframe there. And I'm going to add a keyframe next to scale all. So just two keyframes. And this will automatically add it to scale X and Y. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move the playhead at the end. Go one frame to the left by pressing the left arrow key on your keyboard. That way we can see what we're actually doing. Now that you're at this point, we're going to enable the transform tool here. And we're going to go into the transform tool again. And we're going to increase the scale. So we're going to increase the scale as much as you can to fit his eye here. Um, we want to keep his eye or wherever you're going to be masking, you know, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that the selection that you made is in the center of the canvas here, like that. And you're just going to increase this on the scale all option here. Not Make sure you not have it on the scale X or Y. That will mess things up. So just make sure that you're scaling it here on the scale all. So I'm going to move this to around like 4,000. I kind of already know the number but I wanna know where I'm actually moving this. And if you're on the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10, which I am, I'm on 10.4.9, you actually have this little transparency grid so you can see beyond the canvas, um, which is kinda neat in case you're doing some animations just like this. So I'm gonna move this right back here and I'm almost done and maybe here, I think that's pretty good. So it's covered, it covered it pretty much so that the video here is in full black. Now we're gonna click on done, and now if we scroll back, you're going to see what it looks like, as you can see. All right, 
So if I push play, it looks like this. Now you may notice that it kind of curves and that's not what we want. So what we're gonna do to fix that, it's simple. All you're gonna do is right click on the freeze frame, go to show video animation, and we're gonna go into, if I zoom in on the timeline, so you guys can see a little bit better. So we have one keyframe here and another one at the very beginning. What I wanna do is I wanna move this a couple of frames in about two frames so it looks like this, just so it doesn't start right away. So we want it to kind of look like this and then it zooms in um, and we're gonna add another keyframe around here, the eight, about eight keyframes towards the end. We're gonna add a keyframe. So we're gonna go back to the transform tool, just click on this and we're gonna recenter this to around here and click done. Now that we've done that, we can actually move this piece and actually adjust it to where we think it's mostly centered, um, or we can move the mask so it's centered. So if I push play, it looks like this. Again, it's still curving, which is not what we want. So we can do something like this maybe. And if it's still doing that, we can of course add a couple more keyframes. So around here, right there, I'm going to add another keyframe and move it more towards the middle. And so now it should look like this, push play. And there I want to maybe delete this piece. So it looks like this, or actually we're gonna re-enable that and I'm just gonna move this to the left. So we're gonna click back on the transform tool. We're still on this one keyframe there and I'm just gonna move it back so it's centered around here and click done. And we push play. It should look just like that. That looks pretty good. Um, again, the way keyframes work here with zooming in in Final Cut Pro 10 is very weird, um, but that's just the way it is. So now that we've done that, we're gonna go back to the here. We're gonna click on the transform tool once again, but click on so that this piece is around here, maybe on another keyframe. You wanna right click on this and instead of it saying smooth, we're gonna choose linear. Now that we've done that, it's going to look a lot smoother. So if I push play, you can see that it looks a lot cleaner and it doesn't add that much movement to it. So now we can adjust this a little bit. So if we were to delete this piece now and we move maybe this piece here to the right a little bit more. I'm not sure why Final Cut Pro 10 does that, but that's just, I don't know, it's just the way it is. So um, then we can move this keyframe to the very end if we can. Now we're gonna add our video below it. So to do that, I'm gonna zoom out here and this is the original video. Okay, so what I want, I'm gonna click done here. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna choose a completely different scene just cause um, that's the point of a transition. So I'm going to select maybe here. So I'm gonna press B for the blade tool. I'm gonna to click once and maybe click around here and I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna select just this one clip. Now, assuming that you're doing this before you've completely edited your video, right? Because you're gonna be cutting clips and moving them around. Um, I'm just showing you the actual effect. So in case you guys are wondering, but we're gonna drag this below it and we're gonna move it around here. And so it's going to look like this. And we might wanna increase this as well. I mean, do something like this. So it fills up the whole entire clip here for the freeze frame. So now if I push play from the beginning, it will look like this. Now that we've done that, the bottom clip is going to continue off. So I'm gonna choose another scene. So I want this scene to be um, right here. I want it to start there. So I'm gonna go here, maybe stop it around there and delete this clip because we don't need it. Now we're gonna have this clip and we're gonna just drag it down so that it will continue playing off. And I'm gonna move this like that actually. Okay, and now that we've done this, we're gonna create another uh, freeze frame. So what we're gonna do is pretty much we're gonna do the opposite. So we're gonna do it backwards. So this part right here, I want it to actually create a uh, another zoom mask, but we're gonna do the opposite. So we're just gonna do the same thing and then we're gonna reverse the clip. So we're gonna go here and I'm gonna delete that piece and he's talking, yada, yada. We'll play it through a little bit longer around here and I'm gonna delete the end. Now that we've done that, what we're gonna do is just do the same thing. So. It's gonna play through and right there, this piece I wanted to zoom in into his mouth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to edit, go to add freeze frame, and this will again create a still image. Uh, and now that we've done that, we're gonna right click on this and I'm gonna go to assign video roles. And this is just for you guys so that you guys can 
visually see where the actual freeze frame are compared to the original video clip, okay? So now that this is a, a still clip, we can literally trim it and nothing will change. So we're gonna make this a little, roughly the same length as this one. So I think that looks the same, like there. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna go to masks, we're gonna go to draw mask and drag it directly on top of the freeze frame clip. Move the playhead at the very beginning. And again, we're gonna make a selection. So we're gonna zoom in to around 200% here, maybe a little bit to like 400. And I'm gonna make a selection of his mouth. So I'm gonna click and drag to make a curve and click to finish it off. And we'll click on uh, fit. And we're gonna uh, make sure that the invert mask uh, box here is checked. That way we uh, pretty much do the opposite. So everything is shown except his mouth. And now that we've done that, we're gonna create a feather again. So if I show you here closely in his mouth, I'm gonna go to the feather. I'm gonna feather this outwards or you can feather it inwards. For this case, I'm going to feather out feather it out a little bit. So it's better to make a closer selection inwards a little bit. And again, you can always make adjustments to this as well if you really want to. So I think that looks pretty good. So once you're there, I'm gonna go back to the original size and we're gonna go just do the same thing. Move the playhead towards the end, go one uh, keyframe to the left. And now that you've done that, we're gonna go into the um, parameters here and transform. So actually before you do that, just make sure you have the playhead at the beginning. We're gonna go to the transform tool. We're gonna go to where it says transform, go to position, add a keyframe, add a keyframe next to scale all, and then move the playhead towards the end. One frame to the left. And now that you've done that, we're gonna zoom in all the way until we fill up the mask here, the black area. So it's completely covered in black. Try to keep it centered in the frame. So we're gonna keep doing that until we don't see anything in the video. So we're almost done here. And there we go, perfect. Now we're gonna click done. And if we go back and push play, this is what it looks like, it looks really good. And again, we can adjust the position of this. So we're gonna right click, go to show video animation. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what's happening. And we have one frame here and one frame there, uh, keyframe. So I'm gonna move the keyframe again, two frames over. So it doesn't start right away. We'll start like this. And this will look like that. And I'm gonna uh, go back to the transform tool. I'm gonna right click on this and go to linear. So now when I push play, it looks a lot smoother. And again, we can add another keyframe around here and just move it so that his mouth is more centered uh, with the canvas. So now if I push play, it looks like this. Perfect. Now that we've done that, we're gonna have to create a compound clip in order to reverse the clip, the freeze frame clip. So we're gonna right click on this, and we're gonna go into new compounds clip, and we're just gonna name this, I can't spell today, transition two, press okay. I'm gonna click done on, the, on there, and now we're gonna go on to the, um, the retiming options, and we're gonna go to reverse clip. So now it's going to do the opposite. Now that we've done that, what we want to do is leave the same clip here because that's going to, it's literally gonna play um, through. So we're just gonna make this a little longer and select another part of, of the video. So maybe maybe here where he's doing push-ups. We're gonna move this piece and move it to the bottom so it shows something under it. And it will look like this. So if I push play from the beginning, I will zoom in and then it's gonna zoom out like that. And then it will continue playing through for the you know, for the next clip. Now, again, this, you know, you can change the bottom clip to whatever you want. It doesn't have to be this. It can be like, I don't know, another scene of uh, of the mu of the music video. It can be that. And you can do that. So again, you can get very creative with this, but this is the most simplest way that I found of doing this zoom mask transition where it kind of um, zooms in to his eye and then it zooms out from his mouth like that. Pretty, pretty cool. And again, if you want to change the speed of this, you can press Command R on the on the uh, freeze frame clip and drag this to the left. And you can make this go a lot quicker if you think it needs to go faster without adjusting any of the keyframes. So that is something really, really cool. You can do this as many times as you want and get a really creative result. So link will be down in the description to the original music video that I was inspired to make. Um, and uh, this music video, by the way, is by King, uh, I think it's King Von, how it goes. So 
Again, if you guys want more videos like this, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this one. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out.